and I've taken a couple of losses that, you know, could change my life right now. But, you know, I look at things, you know, positive and I try to move forward instead of looking back. And uh, I think for sure, I think it's built me, you know, it's made me stronger. You know, it's, it's motivated me to push harder in the gym, you know, work harder. Download the All-Star app. Make your picks for UFC fights, challenge your friends, level up and win prizes. Link in description. Get it now. All right, Eric. Damn, man. It's been a while, you know what I mean? But you got this title fight coming up, which is incredible. Take us through uh, how this fight got put together. Just, uh, man, I, I just had a fight a couple months back um, for Cage Aggression. Fought for the 35 title there. And then uh, Unified just hit me up and offered me the title fight, man, or interim title, really. But um, And I just had no, you know, no question, just took it. You know what I mean? I'm ready to take all the straps until I get back where I need to be. Definitely, man. Definitely. Yeah. Let's talk about the the cage aggression title fight. You know, you go in there after a, a somewhat of a layoff and and, you know, what do you think of the performance? How do you feel about what you did in that fight? I felt good, man. I mean, the guy was a, a game opponent. He was 12 and one, been on a win streak, just came off the contender, you know, and I just moved up weight class as well. So I think I had uh, all odds against me, really. And I, I went out there and I got it done. So I was happy with my performance. Definitely wanted to finish. But, uh, you know. Things happen. Um, this fight, I'm looking to get a finish, though. So just moving forward from it. You know what I mean? Well, one one positive you could take away from, you know, spending more time in the cage is, to, is that you were able to test out things that you were, you know, working on in the training room. Was was there certain aspects of your game that you got to, you know, uh, flex in that fight? Of course, man. Uh, uh, defensive wrestling. I was uh, he was mainly a top like he likes to take people down and hold them down. I hit a hip toss, got a nice little judo toss. You know, I had a couple of good things that I did in that fight. Took him down a few times. It was just, uh, and I like to test my cardio too, man. A, a five-round fight is always my favorite because I start to turn up later in the round. So uh, I think, uh, you know, just knowing I could hang with a big 135-er, you know, that too. So there's a lot of things that I took from that fight, man. I'm happy with my performance though, for sure. 2022, man, it was, uh, it was a year of like just – you know, like, could you go back and think of, you know, because this fight, the last one you had and you got the win, you got the title and you think about 2022 and what you had to go through. It's just, you know, it must have been great to just raise your hand. You know what I mean? In the cage. Dude, it was an unbelievable feeling, man. A lot of times people don't see the, you know, the downs in my career and stuff. And I go through a lot with this stuff, man. I, I put my life into this and uh, and I've taken a couple of losses that, you know, could change my life right now. But, you know, I look at things, you know, positive and I try to move forward instead of looking back. And uh, I think for sure, I think it's built me, you know, it's made me stronger. You know, it's, it's motivated me to push harder in the gym, you know, work harder. And then on top of that, man, I just it shows my kids, man, I, how to keep going through struggles. You know what I'm saying? And everybody out there that's struggling, because I know a lot of people are with, you know, things that's going on in the world so just uh just trying to be a beacon of hope for people as well you know what i'm saying for sure and yeah you i guess you got to look back at the past to to appreciate no doubt at the moment right of course man i had to drop to my knees and just thank god you know after that fight because it was it was definitely one of those things it was like make or break i felt i felt like man if this could either you know send me down a spiraling spiraling path or it could you know uplift me more so i just it just helped me believe in myself, you know, helped me build back up and and just keep going forward, man. I think uh, I think with this game, man, a lot of people underestimate the downs in this game, man. It could it could really tear you up because uh, especially when you put everything into it. And uh, like I said, I've made it to the UFC, you know, I've made it to the top and I was on the ultimate fighter. And, you know, getting knocked down is hard to like keep going sometimes, man, because, you know, where where you go from there, you know what I'm saying? So it's just uh you know, I feel like I'm motivating people in the gym for, you know, watching my journey. And uh, and that uplifts me. My kids, they always believe in me. So I'm just just going to do my thing until, you know, things start going my way, you know? Yeah, you know, you make a good point right there about, uh, you know, reaching the top, you know, you reaching the UFC, reaching the top 15. And, and there's expectations, you know what I mean? Like yeah. once you start, you know, I guess once you get in a slump, you know, because I mean? in other sports, you get in a slump. People are like, oh, that's just a slump. You know what I mean? You'll be back. 
in fighting, yep. it's not like that, right? They're kind of like jump off the wagon a little bit. Yeah, it's that quick, man. And I'm, I'm, I'm blessed to be able to have still a decent fan base considering, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times that is exactly what happens, man. You'll go in the, you'll go in the win. Just like, you know, I see so many fighters, you know, they, they get to the top and then they get knocked down and then you don't hear from them. You don't hear from anybody talking about them. And it's that easy in this sport, man. It's so ruthless, but you know, it's also, it's also so rewarding, you know, sometimes. So the highest highs and the lowest lows and just, uh, just trying to, you know, I'm trying to be, like I said, a beacon of hope, man. And I, I definitely believe that I got more in me and I'm going to make another run for the UFC high, higher promotion. You know what I mean? For sure, man. There's a lot. The game has changed since you were in the UFC, right? There's a lot more promotions, a lot more money out there, right? A lot yeah, more money dude. Out there. For real, man. And, and and also, man, when I was in there, the 25 division was just, it was on the way out. So it was like every fight was, you know, every fight was possibly your job gone you know so i fought safe and i you know things i regret but also things i learned so it's uh man it's it's uh it's it's one of those things dude i I like to look at myself and and say like man you you were there you know you know where you stand with those guys man i fought number two i fought pantoja my first fight in the ufc i fought jared brooks my second fight in the UFC and both those guys, you know, look at Pantoja. He's number one in the UFC about to fight for the world title. Jared Brooks, one FC world champ. You know, um, I've been in there with the best, so I know where I stand and then uh, never been finished still. So that's, uh, that's something I, I hold my pride to, you know, I'm, I'm hard to finish. I'm, I'm, I'm can be in there with the best and still, you know, come out on top. So I just believe I just got to start finishing again, man, get back to my finishing ways, you know? Is is 135 your home now? Is that where you're gonna go on with your career, or is 125 still a possibility? Oh, it's still it's still a possibility for sure. You know, like money talks. You know what I mean? And I think 35 right now is just uh, it's you know the the money with like the the cut to 25 with the money just isn't adding up for me. You know what I mean? It's like so it's just it's a hard cut. It's a lot more you know work. You know what I'm saying as far as you know dieting and stuff like that. More money putting out, but not as much coming in. So 35 for me right now, it's just, it works out for my lifestyle, you know, you know, and, and stuff like that. So I believe when the money starts coming and the, you know, bigger promotions start coming, 25 will be the move. But, uh, and you never know, man, at 30, if they offer me something at 35 too, I'm down. Cause I know I can hang with them too, you know? So it's just, it's just one of those things, man. It's just all about what's the money going to bring, you know? How, how do you feel at, at 135? You know what I mean? In the cage, do you feel a different, do you feel much different than you feel at 125? Like, is there any aspects of that? I feel faster at 125. I definitely feel my hand speeds quicker, a um, little more scrambly. Uh, at 35, I think uh, it's just sometimes I feel some of the guys are a little stronger, maybe like be a little taller, a little bit of moment, a uh, little leverage on me and stuff like that. But for the most part, at, at, at the regional scene, like for the – Title fight, seven, five rounds, I can be any 35er. You know what I'm saying? I can, you know, I can go 35 you know, or 25 minutes with anybody and get the job done for sure. So I think the only difference is just that little bit of speed and, you know, twitch action is a little bit different at 125. Yeah, man, it's going to be hard to deny you if, if you go in there and win this strap, dude. You have two belts. You know what I mean? Like Bellator be just three. introduced. Oh, three. Sorry, three. Yes, you know, sir. Bellator just introduced. Uh, 25 know, division. Fight. Yeah. So, Boy, you know, that's, that's a that's really right there. that's another opening. I mean, I was me. I was talking to my manager about that as well. So that's definitely uh, an option too. So I'm not closing any door until one opens. It's just one of those things, man. I'm I'm just like I believe in my journey for sure. You know, I know God gave me these gifts for a reason, man, and and I'm able to go out there and showcase. So uh, I'm gonna go out here and get a finish this fight and uh and show show my worth for sure. Um, because I feel like that's what I've been lacking is just just uh, the finishing aspect, because that's all they want to see, man. But to take take from that too, man, I've been out here fighting the best outside of the UFC. I'm not taking cake fights and building, padding my record. I'm taking the best of the best still, you know. I think that should speak, you know, a little bit for, you know, my character. You know, I think uh, a lot of these guys are trying to get to the UFC off, you know, fighting, you know, I don't want to say, but like, you know, lower tier guys, man. And it, and it's it sucks that that's what the – sports come to but it is what it is i'm just going to keep being me and keep doing me and hopefully something good will come out of it you know 
Yeah, you, you know, you sp- you speak in facts because you know there's there's guys out there walking around with sexy records and then you know they signed and you know. No, I'll, I'll be prepared, man. Yeah, that's because that yeah, that's exactly what I don't want. Yeah, and you know it's great that you know it's for fighters, man. Especially like you know we talked about earlier, it's like you get to the pinnacle and then you have to go back and and work yourself up. You know, we see many guys do it, but there's many guys, more guys, probably like let's say 60, 70 percent of guys that just hang it up. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. And and you did it, man. And you fucking went out there and 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 fought the best, like you said. And you got another one coming up. What do you think about this opponent, though? You know what I mean? I know you're very confident in yourself, but uh, yeah, he's gonna be a test, no matter what. Of course, man. Anybody, like I said, I'm not gonna take easy fights. I think he's definitely game. I think his experience is way less than mine. Um, I think I've been in there with every every type of guy that there is. You know. Um, uh, I don't want to underestimate anybody, definitely. But I just think my experience will show in there, my speed. Um, he doesn't really seem fast. He's, he, he likes to just push you on the cage, but I don't. I haven't met a guy that's been able to hold me there. So it's just like all my attributes to his is just – it just seems like I'll be able to get in there and just have fun with this fight, you know, and get a finish. For sure. And, you know, um, where are you working nowadays – for for training uh i'm i'm uh, i'm at american top team out here in indianapolis um so you know i was coaching out here and stuff but i like right now i'm just focusing on me i got some guys out here that um uh, help me and, and most of the attention's on me you know and them big bigger gyms because i've been to all, all of them um i definitely learned from them i i love them all but uh right now in my career i need to focus on me you know what i'm saying i need to be uh, training and all the attention on me so that's what i have here you know they're able to give me bodies and keep rotating on me and and, uh and i love this gym right now so it's worked out for me in in this last few fights so i'm just gonna stay here you know what i mean and get it until so i feel i need to change it up i always have the option to go out to american top team in florida that's still my home as well so i've just been putting in work man out here and you know training with my boys and and getting better you know yeah you know like some fighters they need that they need to have their like small gym focus on themselves and and when they want yeah. to go and then and, and go spar the the boys you know at the at, at the main gym they can go out there mm-hmm. america top team is so vast man like there's so many yeah dude there. there's so many gyms man and at, like i said out there i was out there for shoot three years and getting in work with all the best guys so i know where i stand you know i was out there with uh kioji and juan puerta and uh, the Pantoja, getting all the work with all the bad guys, man. So I know where I stand. I know my skill set. I know how to fight. Uh, just right now in my career, I just need to be the attention on me so I can make another run for where I, where I belong. I definitely want to make a run for a title, for sure, a world title. Yeah, man, this is a, it's a huge opportunity, man. Your second fight of the year already, you know what I mean? Like it seems like you're on, a, uh, on track to maybe get like four of these. You know what I mean? Where, where do you see yep. yourself at the end of the year, by the end of the year? I see myself in a bigger promotion, working my way up the rankings, man. Uh, like I said, dude, uh, I've been there. I know, I know what it takes, and I've been putting in the work for years now. I'm on 13, almost 14 years that I've been been doing this, and it's been consistent. So, I had a little bit of layoff, and you know, dealt with a little bit of depression, and, and a lot, of, like a lot of times, you don't, you don't post that. You know, I try to stay motivating on on uh, social medias and stuff, but definitely went through a little bit of depression, and uh, coming out of that, dude, is you know, it's motivating for me. I made it, I made it through the, to the rough. So right now I'm just going to ride this wave, man, and keep going. And hopefully by the end of the year, I get to, you know, fight for that Bellator title, UFC title, one FC title, one of those, you know, get, get my money. You know what I mean? For sure, man. There's, you know, I think getting out of that, that like, like you said, depression is probably the hardest thing. You know what I mean? Training is easy, right? Compared to that. Yeah, dude. It's like, I mean, training has just been a part of my lifestyle for so long. That's the easy part. It's like being able to deal with daily life and, you know, deal with your kids and, you know, the money's not coming in like it was. You know, you get used to a certain level of money coming in and then it's hard to switch that up, you know, for your family. And it's just it sucks, man. And it's definitely something I want people to see. You know, I want I want to be able to be a beacon for them to let them know that, uh, I'm going, man, let them know that, uh, you know, don't don't quit when the, when the times get hard, man. Just just keep pushing and hopefully something good will come out of it. You know what I mean? I want to get a little bit of money and start something good for myself and my family out of this, you know, cause I put in so much time. I don't want to leave empty handed. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, man. Hey, huge motivation, man. June 23rd, 
United MMA Let's 51 go. title fight. It's a uh, it's a good moment for you, man. I'm I'm happy for you and all the best in the fight, man. Thank you so much for the time. I appreciate you so much, brother.